Hi everybody, John from Latacrete here. I'm the technical sales representative for the Pacific Northwest region for our masonry veneer installation systems product line. Today we're going to talk about a cornerstone product of our NVIS system, and that's our NVIS air and water barrier. This is a cold fluid applied, uh, think of it as a bulk water management system for masonry veneers. Anything ranging from thin brick to cultured stone to natural stone, thin veneer masonry installations. Uh, this is a cold fluid applied material. It goes right over the front face of our substrate. Anything ranging from a traditional last scratch brown system to a cement backer board to solid CMU or concrete masonry. So um, we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna demo it. Uh, anytime I do one of these tutorials, I encourage my audience to please, if you're an architect or specifier or a contractor, please read and familiarize yourself with the product data sheet. That's available on our website at latacrete.com. All of our technical data and installation instructions are included in the technical data sheet downloaded uh, from our website. So let's talk about the product. I've got a mock-up here showing the material applied. Again, this is over a thin brick, um, uh, or under, I should say, a thin brick uh, installation. Uh, we've got our bond coat, we've got our thin brick, thin veneer masonry. Behind that goes our Latacrete MBIS air and water barrier. Uh, again, cold fluid applied, roll-on material. We'll demo some product here in a minute. But this really serves as a bulk water management system. It's going to provide an excellent lockout against efflorescence so the soluble salts don't weep through the substrate and down the front face of our masonry finish. Uh, we go to market with this material in five gallon pails. Uh, it's very easy to use and apply. Um, when the buckets come out of the warehouse, the best practice is to take a drill motor and just very gently uh, give, the, give the material a good stir with a, with a paddle mixer. Obviously, depending on how long the material has been sitting, you'll want to uh, stir it a little bit longer than I did there, but it's just good to engage uh, the material and, and re-engage the, the product. <coughs> so roller applied material. Uh, we recommend a three-quarter inch nap roller uh, be used to apply the product. I do have, and if you uh, reach out to me, I can provide you with <coughs> our wet mill thickness gauges. This will gauge the material once we embed this into a fresh coating of the MBIS air and water barrier, we can gauge the material to ensure it's at the appropriate thickness, uh, which is all included on the product data sheet. So fluid applied product, simply roller applied. You can see here that I've applied the product previously. Uh, when it's dry to the touch, it's ready to accept stone and setting mortar. Now this is just a quick mock-up on a cement backer board system, but you can see here we've got our mechanical anchors on the cement backer board. Uh, even though these are poly-coated anchors, over time they can corrode, so applying a coating of MBIS air and water barrier is always best practice to encapsulate and coat and protect uh, your anchors. fluid applied system. Normally best practice is to apply one coat in one direction and then come in the opposite direction and apply your second coat to ensure appropriate coverage. This is a zero VOC product. There's no volatile organic compounds in the material. Uh, it does comply with ASTM E96 uh, water vapor perm rating 
testing and also uh, ASTM uh, 2178 for air water permeants. Again, a bulk water management system. It's going to protect the substrate behind thin veneer masonry. It's also a relatively flexible material, so it will provide uh, some minor crack isolation protection. Once this is applied, the next step is, and if we can zoom in on this mock-up here, <clears throat> at any change of plane, be it a movement or expansion joint, or an inside or outside corner, or soffit, or uh, door jam, window jam, window ledge, etc., we have the Laticrete anti-fracture fabric. This is in a six inch by 75 foot roll. This would wrap, this would essentially go in the first coat while the air and water barrier is still fresh uh, to encapsulate and protect any change of plane and provide uh, some, <clears throat> some uh, protection and, and also uh, reinforcement for any change of plane and expansion and movement joints. I have all the, the criteria for appropriate uh, expansion and movement joint frequency and thin veneer masonry assemblies if you reach out to me. Uh, my cell phone number is 203-499-9235. Uh, my email is jgallop at laticrete.com. I'll add that to this post. If you have any questions relating to MVIS air and water barrier or the entire masonry veneer installation system program from Laticrete, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for your time, appreciate it, and hope to talk to you soon. Take care.